In years gone by, royals hardly ever spoke out about the importance of good mental health preferring to keep quiet about the issue. But more recently, senior royals including Prince William, Prince Harry and the Duchess of Cambridge have championed speaking out about the cause. In fact, in 2016, the trio launched Heads Together, a campaign to encourage people to talk about their feelings and break down any remaining stigma surrounding the topic. And one way they have encouraged people to get talking is to open up about their own mental health struggles. Here we look back at some of the times royals have bravely shared their feelings. One of the first royals to open up about her mental health was Princess Diana in 1995. In an interview with BBC Panorama, she spoke about becoming a mum for the first time. Admitting she struggled from post-natal depression in the months after welcoming Prince William. She said, well, everybody was thrilled to bits. It had been quite a difficult pregnancy, I hadn't been very well throughout it, so by the time William arrived. It was a great relief because it was all peaceful again, and I was well for a time. Then I was unwell with post-natal depression. Which no one ever discusses, post-natal depression, you have to read about it afterwards, and that in itself was a bit of a difficult time. You'd wake up in the morning feeling you didn't want to get out of bed, you felt misunderstood, and just very, very low in yourself. I received a great deal of treatment, but I knew in myself that actually what I needed was space and time to adapt to all the different roles that had come my way. I knew I could do it. But I needed people to be patient and give me the space to do it. Love the Royals. Sign up. For the Mirror's daily newsletter to get all the latest news on the Queen, Charles, Kate, Wills, Meghan, Harry and the rest of the firm. Click here to sign up. Another royal who opened up about her feelings surrounding being a parent was Kate. Chatting on Giovanna Fletcher's podcast Happy Mum. Happy baby, she spoke movingly about husband William becoming a dad, their life as new parents behind closed doors and her own upbringing. Asked if she feels mum guilt, she replied, yes absolutely, and anyone who doesn't as a mother is actually lying. She also said she sometimes feels guilty about the parenting decisions she makes. She explained, you are always sort of questioning. Your own decisions and your own judgments and things like that, and I think that starts from the moment you have a baby. Meghan Markle had a whirlwind introduction to public life when she married Prince Harry and in 2019 gave birth to their first child, Archie. Later that year, Meghan, Harry and Archie embarked on a tour of South Africa and in an interview, which formed part of a documentary on the tour, an emotional Meghan admitted she was not okay. In a 1-2-1 one interview with ITV's Tom Bradby, Meghan was asked about the true pressures of life in the spotlight. She said at the time, look, any woman. Especially when they are pregnant you're really vulnerable, and so that was made really challenging, and then when you have a newborn, you know. And especially as a woman, it's a lot. So you add this on top of just trying to be. A new mom or trying to be a newlywed it's, well. Prince William and Prince Harry had to go. Through the pain of losing their mum Princess Diana suddenly following a car crash in Paris in 1997 and in a poignant mental health documentary called Football. Prince William and our mental health, William talked about the trauma of losing his mum when he was 15 and revealed the emotions came flooding back when he became a parent. He was speaking to former Bolton and Burnley player Marvin Sordal, who had depression after growing up without his father. William said, when you've been through something traumatic, like your dad not being around, my mother dying when I was younger, your emotions come back in leaps and bounds. Because it's a very different phase of life, being a parent, and there's no one around to help you. I definitely found it overwhelming at times. It's not just William who suffered as a result of tragically losing his mom at a young age, so. Did Prince Harry. And on the Mad World podcast in 2017, Harry revealed he had been close to a complete breakdown on numerous occasions. He explained, I have probably been very close to a complete breakdown on numerous occasions when all sorts of grief and all sorts of lies and misconceptions and everything is coming to you from every angle. Harry also said he spent 20 years shutting down his emotions but at the age of 28, he was spurred on to talk about them with a therapist. Kate revealed her own experiences of the hardships of being a mom of three. Speaking during a visit to Charity Family Action, in Lewisham, South London in 2019, Kate said, it's so hard. 
you get a lot of support as a mother particularly in the early days. But after the age of one, it falls away. After that, there isn't a huge amount, lots of books to read. Everybody experiences the same struggle. Sagari Sarkar, a volunteer who works at the charity, said, I think it makes her human. It makes her in touch. She is a parent, a very active parent, and I think that's what people like about her. Before becoming a full, time royal. William worked as a pilot with the East Anglia Air Ambulance. And in 2018, he spoke openly about how his experience in the job plagued his mind and how he would often take troubling aspects home. His frank admission came as he addressed the need for more mental health support in the workplace to improve well-being. Speaking about his time, William said, I took a lot home without realizing it. You're seeing all the sad things, all the pain every day. Earlier this year, Prince Harry fronted his own Apple TV docuseries The Me You Can't See. And in it, he courageously allowed cameras to capture him taking part in an EDMR therapy session. Eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, EDMR, is a psychotherapy treatment that helps people heal from the symptoms and emotional distress following disturbing life experiences. Harry went through the motions of closing his eyes and crossing his arms across his chest as he reflected on past traumatic events. Later, during a chat with a mental health professional, Harry explained how he would suffer from a hollow empty feeling. Whenever flying into the UK which he told that he thinks is linked to dealing with his mother Princess Diana's death in the public eye at a young age. In a tell-all interview earlier this year, Meghan revealed she had experienced suicidal thoughts when pregnant with son Archie. She told Oprah Winfrey she didn't want to be alive anymore and when asked directly if she was thinking of self, harm and having suicidal thoughts at some stage. Meghan replied yes. She says Harry cradled her when she told him, and he later admitted it sent him to a dark place. How to get help, if you are struggling or you are worried about a loved one, contact Samaritans on 116123. For more advice visit nhs.uk slash mental comma health or www.mind.org.uk slash information comma support slash coronavirus.